I was going 240 miles an hour with walls and wheels around me. Like, it, it was a little crazy. When I was a kid, my parents always let my sister and I try everything. Coach pitch, t-ball, volleyball, basketball, cheerleading, tumbling, choir, band, and racing was one of them. So when I started go-karting at 10, it was just totally local. It was just a local track. I couldn't even keep up on the parade laps when I first started go-karting. And the parade laps are where you go around the little oval area real slow, slow as you possibly, like it's like really slow. So that was how much I failed at the beginning. And so it just started locally, but then I started winning. At 14, I had won a lot and it led to me going over and testing in England and got going on the, go, got going on the career. If you're gonna be a race car driver as a kid, you're thinking, well, I'm gonna need to work on my race car. And so I thought, well, I would go to college for engineering. I think it's critical because it really, I mean, whether it's building an engine, I mean, you learn physics and you learn how things work or whether you work into another field of technology um, but in engineering, but you learn so much about the nature of reality by understanding how something else works. So as an example, I mean, in IndyCar, you're, or NASCAR, I mean, you're changing the ride height a 16th of an inch. I mean, the amount of trust you put in your engineering staff to execute ride heights, to make sure that the car is built properly, to make sure that it's the right spring rate, the right, right shocks, the right everything, the right sway bars, the right, I mean, it's just like everything. Without engineers and racing, we crash. If you're the only girl in a classroom with a bunch of guys, you better like engineering. If you're, if you are not happy and excited about showing up, even though you might be the only one or one of the only ones and different, then you're looking for friends. You're looking for um, social activity. You're looking for something outside of the actual thing that you have showed up for. You have to know what you want to do. You have to actually love what you do because if you don't love it, you're going to quit. And then you have to truly believe that you're going to get there. I would imagine my legacy in racing is um, the most successful female race car driver in history. Um, but the main one, of course, was being the only female to win an IndyCar. Um, I mean, there were definitely times where I questioned, you know, was I, was I good enough? You have to learn how to push through those moments. Because my goal was not to be the best girl, my goal was to be the best. Well, I can say quite directly that the car that you drive on the road is a product of engineering and racing. I mean, all of those technologies were made on the racetrack and then they, they find their way to a car. Um, but I believe that probably anything and everything can be helped by engineers to solve modern day problems. The technology and engineering is continuing to accelerate and evolve and um, I would imagine there's more need than ever for engineers and for people with a mind that can build things.